Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. We're gonna do toning foam wires. How to find foam wires. Um, so we're in a shop because this is gonna be the easiest way to show y'all because the phone room is literally on the other side of this wall. So usually I have to do this, I don't know, half a mile down the road and then come back to where this is. But this is uh, called a, uh, this is the Fluke Pro 3000 toner. It also comes with a wand set, and I don't know where it is. I'm not going to worry about it, but we have this 200 FP filter probe, which should, I like this one better anyway than the Fluke because it's got a little feature added. In. Well, if this was a wall outlet <clears throat> and I had, and you needed to find out where, where that wire is going, the way you do that is you would turn on this toner, and what this does is it emits a noise. Like that if you press it like this it'll uh, it'll emit a different noise now if you get over to I'll probably show you this later but if you get over to where the wire is and you're not sure if that's the exact wire um, you can short out the toner so what I mean by that is you touch two wires together stop and I'll change the tone. So now you know you definitely got the right wire. But let me show you how you would do this. You would plug this into the wall outlet into the house. And you turn this on. Blinking preferably so it has a tone. Make sure these aren't touched together. That's for the punch box which you'll see in a minute. And uh, this is a screwdriver. Don't need that. So that's plugged in and it's emitting our tone. So let's go over to our phone room and see um, if we can find this wire. Which I already know where it's at. But So if you haven't watched my tour of the phone room nerve center of the building, this is the phone room nerve center of the building. And it's hot in here. We gotta get that AC unit. This equipment makes it so hot in here. So what you would do to find where that wire is going is you would take your wand and rub it down. right there there's a wire right there and that's this is a maintenance man tipper if you're a t t guy you don't have to touch this to that you can use your finger and you even filter it even better that way but the line the line that's going in there is coming from this punch block and it's going to one of these punch blocks so it's right here I already know because I know where our wire goes because so, I'm the one who hooked it up so I'm kind of cheating a little bit on that but as you can see there's a lot of wires here and I knew the wire was here but I didn't know where it was up here so yeah it's like right up there so um basically the phone are coming out of this rack here this Toshiba thing it has like Windows XP on it and uh configuration software then it goes into these punch boxes which disputes it to our south wing our east wing our west wing and al and then under here this is 50 more going to our memory care facility it's also splitting off and going over forgive the mess guys i don't know it's 
going over to these here we used to have a bank here a Wells Fargo used to go over here um, they had their own little systems over here half of this crap I don't even know what it is like I said in my other video this is AT&T's block so when AT&T comes they're really excited that we put you know maintenance carts and stuff all in their way and monitors and stuff and they can't punch down on their block so that leads to this one more thing how do you get the wires on the block well I don't wanna I don't wanna be anything good anymore. So we're going to use these wires here for a demonstration because there's nothing hooked up to these. So we're just going to, what you're going to do is stick the wire in like this and hook it. There's small hooks on these things. Then this is what's called a punch tool. And then there's a cut side and there's a flat side. So we're going down. So we want to cut off the excess of this. So basically gonna put that on the punch block and push give it a couple clicks just to be sure sometimes that uh that little cut piece will stick in there and that's what the little hooks for let's hook it out of there now one's punched down let's go ahead and do the other one which I'm gonna disconnect these after I actually had double punch that it's supposed to be punched on the other side like one on that side one on the other but for demonstration it's it's pretty good so line it up give it a couple punches sometimes that doesn't cut because there it goes so it's punched down on there and simply to get them off you just take them and grab them pull them off that wasn't supposed to be hooked up to anything I got the phone numbers written on these wires just so if I do need an emergency phone for a resident here I'll be like okay she's over in the east wing I'll take this put it over here to east wing I don't before I got here there was a lot of rigging done but I tagged these and these blocks are getting old and these fuses are going bad and I keep asking AT&T hey do you guys got any on a truck or anything he's like man those things are so old we you know, I'm like, ah, uh, well, all right, because I'm not a phone guy. I'm a maintenance guy, but sometimes uh, instead of calling a phone company all the way out here, I'll hook a resident up because they're only going to stay here for a couple of days but needs a phone. So I'll do that for them. Internet and all that stuff, again, um, I can't show you the rack because there's IP addresses on that thing, um, which probably is not a good idea but even though they're local IPs and stuff but uh, that's about it right there that's how you find that's how you find phone lines and that's the easiest way I know how to do it um, Jeff how do you find the numbers what I do is I'll hook my butt set up to the block and I'll dial on that number or on this line and I'll dial to my cell phone with True Caller installed, which is an app on my phone, and then it will give me the actual phone number of the thing. The reason I use True Caller because it'll come back to our switchboard number, our our front desk number. Like if you were to call in and you would get the front desk. So to get by the switch, I guess True True Caller. Well, I actually tell you who's truly calling and what their number is. Their external number. Because when you're on a switchboard like this, yeah, you're going to have an internal, external, uh, all sorts of dumb crap. But I don't do this anymore. These aren't even used. So I just figured I'd, I want to show you a video on how to do some phones. Um, even though everybody's been disconnected, they don't use our system anymore. They use whatever provider they want to use magic jack or whoever at&t magic jack comcast whoever guys jeff the man gotta go gotta go home y'all have a great day